Let's look at this expression, some A or B. Some dogs have long hair. Some people weigh over 200 pounds. Some animals make good pets. It might seem that some is so vague that it's hard to know exactly what it means. But in logic, some actually has a very precise meaning. In logic, some means at least one. Some is vague in one sense, but it sets a precise lower bound. If some dogs have long hair, then you can be certain that at least one dog has long hair. So, some people weigh over 200 pounds means at least one person weighs over 200 pounds. Some animals make good pets means at least one animal makes a good pet. There are a couple of equivalent ways of saying this. If you want to say some dogs have long hair, then you could say at least one dog has long hair, or there is a dog that has long hair, or there exists a long-haired dog. These are all different ways of saying at least one. Here's something to be aware of. The standard reading of at least one A is B is consistent with it being true that all A are B. So if I say some dogs have long hair, this doesn't rule out the possibility that all dogs, in fact, have long hair. But sometimes some is intended to rule out this possibility. Sometimes we want it to mean at least one, but not all. Like if I say some people will win money in next month's lottery, I mean at least one person will win, but not everyone will win. Which reading is correct, whether it means at least one or at least one but not all, will depend on a specific context. Now let's look at the contradictory of some A or B. Some dogs have long hair. If this is false, well, what does this imply? Does it imply that all dogs have long hair? No. At most, this would be a contrary if we were reading some as at least one but not all. No, the contradictory of some dogs have long hair is no dogs have long hair. If no dogs have long hair, then it's always false that at least one dog has long hair, and vice versa. So the general form of the contradictory looks like this. It's not the case that some A or B means no A or B. So if the claim is some movie stars are rich, the contradictory is no movie stars are rich. Now let's say the claim is there is a bird in that tree. Remember, this is equivalent to there is at least one bird in that tree, which is equivalent to some bird is in that tree. So the contradictory is no bird is in that tree, or there is no bird in that tree. Let's try this one. Some dogs don't have long hair. The contradictory of this would be no dogs don't have long hair. This is a bit awkward. The easier way to say this is, all dogs have long hair. And if you recall the previous tutorial, you'll recognize that this is just the rule for the contradictory of a universal generalization. The contradictory of all A or B is some A or not B, which is the form that the, that the original claim has. Well, this is about all you need to know about the logic of some A or B.